Welcome back to my channel. So starting out today, I'm going to be taking a black eyeliner pen from Essence and I'm just going to roughly divide my face down the center with a kind of squiggly and cracked looking line. To paint my face white, I'll be using the Clown White from Snazaroo and the Made You Look Foundation Brush. And this is a water activated paint, so you will need to dip your brush in water to use it. And I'm just going to be painting the bottom half of my face white for now. Then taking a glue stick, I'm going to be using this to flatten down my eyebrows. So I'm going to just run that through my eyebrow a few times and then I'm going to take a spoolie and really comb the hairs down flat to my face so they don't show through the makeup at all. Then I'm just going to continue painting the rest of my face white and I'm going to kind of exclude my eye socket area because we are going to just be painting that straight black and I'm not really fussed about it. And you also want to really make sure that your eyebrows are not visible through the makeup. Next I'm going to be taking my Wolf FX palette and the black colour from this palette with the fine detailed made you look brush and I'm going to start mapping out my eye socket area. Now I was really fussy about this shape, this is the one thing with skulls that has to be really perfect for me so you can kind of just go ahead and mess around with the shape until you're really happy with it. So now I'm going to be starting on the mouth, I'm just going to extend my smile out with a very thin line and then I'm just going to start drawing straight little lines to create the teeth. Now of course we're going to be adding a lot of detail but for now we're just going to lightly map out the area where the teeth are going. Next I'm going to just draw that really rough crack down the centre of my face again so you can really define it and make it more cracked looking now so I'm kind of just wiggling my brush around to give it a really strange look and because there was a little bit on my lip that I wasn't happy with I'm just going to take a q-tip that stamp and I'm just going to clean up that edge because obviously we won't need the white paint in that area. After I've done that you should have something looking like this. Then I'm going to change up my brushes and go in with the eyeshadow brush from the OG Look set and that same black paint and I'm going to start filling in the eye socket area. Switching back to that thin detailed brush, I'm going to start mapping out where the nose is going to be, then I'm going to take the bigger brush to fill in that area and make it completely black. For any of you that were wondering, yes you do have to paint your nostrils on the inside, only a little bit just so it doesn't look weird like your skin is peeking through the skull. Um, after that I'm going to start mapping out this little area which is kind of like the hollows of my cheekbone because obviously a skull has no skin so it's just the hollow. So I'm painting the hollow of my cheekbone and then I'm going to be filling that in. Then after that I'm going to start blacking out the side of my face. So when I say blacking out, I kind of mean slimming down and really defining the shape of the skull. So I'm going to be bringing that black all across my hairline and blending it up into my hair. Then after that, I'm going to bring that all down on my jawbone as well and do the exact same thing. So all across my chin and just kind of blend that out into my neck. After that, I'm then also going to create a more skull shape by just going over all of the hollows of the cheek and the temples and just kind of creating a overall skull shape and I'm just going to completely black out the side of my face where the teeth end. With a fine brush I'm going to start painting in a brow bone I suppose and just little flicks and little details just to break up the solid white. Then I'm going to be going in and filling in the teeth. So with this tutorial I did a little bit different with my style of teeth. So I'm starting to round out the inner edges of the teeth on the top and bottom layer. After I've done that I kind of filled in the little areas, they're kind of like diamond shapes. Then I'm going to start pulling the teeth down and giving them this shape where the almost roots of the teeth are sinking into the skull. Yeah. 
For the theatrical side of it all, I'm going to just start painting in some little cracks on the skull just to make it a little bit more textured and a little bit more exciting. Then I'm going to take a black eyeliner from Maybelline and really heavily tight line my top and bottom waterline just to really make sure that my eyes are really nice and dark. So this is what I have so far. This is the base of the skull without any shading at all. So now I'm going to move on to shading. I'm taking an eyeshadow brush and a matte black eyeshadow and I'm going to start buffing that into the edges to kind of disperse them and make them look a lot more smoky and I really think that this brings the look to life personally for me. I love smoky skulls so I'm just going to go ahead and blend that all out and I'm also going to use my finger a little bit to just tap it away as well just to give it a really smoky and smudged kind of look. Taking that same eyeshadow on an angled brush now, I'm going to apply this in between each of the teeth and it's going to be the darkest and the most intense in between each of the teeth and then I'm going to really pull that colour down into the rest of the face and blend it out so it's not as intense so it kind of fades away like a gradient. After I've done that on the top and the bottom teeth, then I'm going to go in and just colour the teeth a little bit because I feel like they're too white for the whole look because this whole look is going to be very smoky so you need to darken the teeth just a tad, just a little bit on each tooth just to give it a little bit more shading. After I've done that, I'm then going to do the same thing but with the side of the face where the crack is. I'm going to really have it intense right where the line is and then I'm going to pull the colour out to give it a softer gradient. To finish off the teeth, I'm then just going to elongate the shape of them by pulling up two little lines from each tooth and this is going to create almost the roots of the teeth where they join up into your gums and your face. So I'm going to just do that and I thought that it gave it a really awesome effect and it really made the teeth look a lot more realistic. To finish off this whole look, all you need to do now is go in with a white paint and the small fine detail brush and I wanted to just highlight certain areas that I felt like were too dark or I wanted to bring a lot of attention to, so the brow bone area and the cheekbone area and just a little bit on the teeth to make them a little bit wider because we did add a little bit of shading on them. But after I've done that, that is the completed skull look. So if you want to see the pin-up side of it, just keep watching. I was really happy with the smokiness of this look. I was really impressed with how the teeth turned out as well. This was my first attempt at doing the teeth differently. So give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy the skull side of this look. Now going in for the pin-up side, I'm going to apply this foundation with a kabuki brush all over my face just to give myself a nice flawless base for the makeup that we're going to be applying. Next I'm taking my concealer from Maybelline and I'm going to be applying this on my lid to prime it for any shadows and of course underneath my eye area in a triangle shape to conceal any of those dark circles that you still might have and then I'm going to just lightly tap that all the way with my finger. Taking Ben Nye's Neutral Set, I'm going to use this all over my face to set my foundation and concealer and I'm just using the Made You Look Blush brush to dust that on all over and blend it out nicely. Then I'm going to be taking a baked bronzer, this is from Coral Colours if you know the brand and you live in Australia and I'm going to just be lightly contouring and adding some colour back into my cheeks and on my temples as well. Then I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Tulip Blush Duo and my Shanex O Blush Brush which is absolutely amazing, it's got to be my favourite blush brush that I do own and I'm going to really lightly just dust that all over my cheeks to give a lot more colour as I've said previously just to really liven up the look. Then I'm taking Chi Chi's Baked Eyeshadow and I can't remember the name of this but it's just a matte brown and the Precision Blending Brush from Shanex O and I'm going to start putting that in my crease and really defining my crease and really darkening it up and giving it almost a slight cat eye shape as well. Then I'm taking a Real Techniques brush with no additional product and just running that over the whole thing to really buff it and blend it out seamlessly. Then going in with another Chi Chi eyeshadow, this is just a nice peachy champagne colour and an Eco Tools flat eyeshadow brush. I'm going to really densely pack that in my inner corner and all over the centre of the lid as well. 
Then taking my Essence Liquid Eyeliner, I'm going to line a very dramatic cat eye, very long pin-up style wing. You guys know the drill for this, I do this in most of my tutorials, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and line my eyes. To deepen up the crease, I'm taking this smoky black colour and applying it on the very outer corner of my eye near the wing, just to give it a really nice cat eye shape as I said previously. To finish off the eyes, I'm taking my favourite number 43 red cherry lashes and they have a nice flick on the end which really accentuates the cat eye shape that we're going for here in this tutorial. Sorry, pardon my dogs that are barking in the background. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is taking this brow tint from Astralis and it's really great because it replaces my pencil. It's a brow tint and a gel and you just need to just swipe it on and my brows are done. It's so easy, it's one of my favourite new products. After I've done that, I'm going to take my um, mascara from Maybelline and I'm just going to really heavily coat my top and my bottom lashes. So I naturally have a freckle on my face and it is covered up by all of the foundation and concealer so what I'm going to do is just paint it on with some brown face paint. If you guys don't have a freckle you can of course paint it on as well. This is just going to really bring the whole pin up side into it having a beauty mark on your face. After I've done that I'm going in with the Essence Lip Liner in the shade Red Blush and I'm going to just line my lips and fill them in with the liner. Then I'm going to take Astralis for lower lips in the colour red and this is pretty much just a really great rip off version of the Lime Crime Velveteens. It's just a matte lip cream that does not budge after it sets. It's absolutely amazing. And the last thing that I did here was I just smoked out that centre of my face and I actually kind of did prefer it without this and I didn't notice until I just watched my footage back. So to finish off the look you can go ahead and smoke this out or you can leave it as it was. But I hope you guys all really enjoyed this tutorial I really did love the way it turned out it was really nice and really smoky it was exactly how I planned and if you don't have contacts it looks absolutely stunning without it you don't need contacts it still looks really really great and if you do have contacts of course you can pop in any type that you like but my eyes started to water after I've done this and then my eyes never water when I wear contacts but the one time I use water-based paints they decided to tear up so keep that in mind when you're applying contacts but i hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial please remember to give this video a very big thumbs up and if you guys recreate any of my looks please tag me on instagram i would just absolutely love to see them i hope you guys all stay safe and please leave any suggestions in the comments below bye guys see you on my next video